Harlequins here tomorrow. Um, you said they've been the standard bearers of the league mm. this year. Um, they're the side to beat, aren't they? They are definitely, um, and also you know it's an important fixture for us and them kind of where it, where it falls now. The last the last game of this block of six, um, you know, before we go into the European break, and I think for both teams, you know, it doesn't take a lot of working out that you look at how important the points are at this stage of the season. For us, a good performance can potentially uh, collect us some points that give us a real nice start to the season. Um, you know, whereas a poor performance and you're thinking, right, well, we're OK, you know, collecting 11 points is pretty good. You know, and points on the board are, are very, very important, but, you know, not as nice as a few more would be. So, and again, same for Harlequins, you know, losing last week, another few points for them before the European break. You can, and you can kind of see they, they know where they're heading and where they want to be. So it's an important game for both of us. Um, I think you can see that with the strength of the sides we're both putting out, uh, despite the Highland Cup coming up. Um, and I think... Uh, you know, as I said, you know, we've got to put in a good performance at home because it's something we've been building on this year and it's something we want to continue to build on. You talked about the disappointment of last week at Tigers. What have you done about that and talked about this week with the guys? Yeah, just, just talking about maintaining a focus. You know, it's, I, I, I haven't really got a problem with us, us making mistakes that are based around us desperately wanting to win and there was a lot of that. It wasn't, it wasn't guys being careless and it wasn't guys being, being lazy that was our problem. It was just a little bit of a, a lack, lack of focus and, and resetting ourselves, getting back to the, to the basics you have to do. You know, when you make a mistake, there are things you can reset yourself to uh, that, that make sure the next things you do are the, are the right things and give you the most opportunity to get back in the game. And we weren't very good at that last week. And that's, that's not, like I say, that's not a not an attitude problem it's more of a focus problem just saying well hold on guys you know don't get panicky don't get het up don't don't get so desperate to get back in the game that you make another mistake so it's, if anything we've probably talked about relaxing a little bit so you know understanding what's going on around you relaxing a little bit making good good clear decisions you know the reality is rugby is only a massively intense game around the ball you know when you're not around the ball yes you have to work hard and yes it is about working off the ball but uh, you know a lot of these guys these are fit guys you know they can move off the ball they can run around you know that that's not massively taxing but you have to do that in the right way with with good focus and not not expend that energy in the wrong direction and i think sometimes when we get a bit het up and we lose our focus we expend a lot of energy in the wrong directions and ultimately that can hurt you you know if you expend energy giving away a penalty that's that's not great use of your energy if your energy is getting yourself in the right position for the next set of defense or getting yourself in the right position for the next set of attack that's good use of your energy and and when we're good at that we're a good side You've uh, made a few changes to the side. A few people coming in for their first starts in hmm. Simon Alcott. I know he's been here a few years, but it's his first Premiership start. Yeah. Dean Mum and Ben White. What are they going to bring to the pack? I think you know it's important to to make sure you're rewarding guys who are playing well and showing good form. I thought Sai did really well off the bench at the weekend. You know, in quite difficult circumstances, it wasn't like things were going well for us out there. It was about going out and just rolling on with things. You know, he came on. Uh, I think he you know five out of six lineouts. The, the one we didn't win, I would have blamed more on the, the call and the way we did the line out than on, than on Simon, so that was important for him. Um, you know, and he had a, he, he stayed well within system, made his tackles, made his carries, and, you know, was one of the guys who got us doing the right things at the right time. So great for him uh, and a great opportunity for him. You know, Dean, you know, watched his two A-League games in detail. Uh, I think he does a lot of the right things at the right time very well. Those are his strengths and that's going to be very important to us this weekend. Um, you know, Stino coming in, you know, again, you know, he's a guy. He's last couple of weeks in particular, he's worked very hard in the background. He's shown a great attitude over the uh, not being in the team, which is tough for him. Um, and as I say, I think you know the time's right for him him to have a uh, have a go there. And I think uh, I think that's it's just the right time. Uh, and with Ben again, Ben White, you know, again another guy who showed tremendous energy. Whether it's been in an A-League performance, whether it's coming off the bench, and he has a lot of very very very, very good qualities. Now we've left out some very good players. Uh, they're not very happy about it, um, but that's kind of the way things have to be. You know, I'm, I'm certainly not um, putting the responsibility for the last week's loss on those those players who have been left out this week or come down off the bench because that's not the case. You know, it was a team responsibility, um, and it wasn't. It's not necessarily individually poor performances that are the issue. It's a little bit more about how have other guys played in those positions. Do they deserve a chance? So it's more about the positive impacts that Dean. Uh, you know, and Simon, and Ben, and Stino can have 
more than that, that we're disappointed with other people's performance. It's not, it's not really like that. Uh, you, know, you think two weeks ago, those guys all put in very, very good performances against Saracens. You know, those performances aren't forgotten. You know, but there is an there is an opportunity for us to use these players. Uh, we think it will give us a little bit of freshness, and we're going to use them. It's a bit quiet here now, but tomorrow there'll be mm -hmm. hopefully eight, nine thousand people in here. Home factor again. Um, we've done really well against Sutherland yep. and Saracens so far. Yeah, and I think it's important, you know, it's, but it's important for the players to appreciate that you only build an atmosphere with your, with your actions, so it's going to be very important they come out on the pitch. Um, from minute one they show that they're desperate to win and they're going to do everything they can to make that happen. Um, if we do that and we perform, as I've said before, you know, the supporters are happy and I'll be happy. You know, it's, it's when you're performing you know, towards your potential and you know, it really means something. You can, you can just be happy what comes and that normally means you're a competitive side and that normally means there's something in the game for you. you know? And That's what we have to do. We have to make sure there's something in this game for us and, and that will come down to how we play right from the start right to the finish. Brilliant. Thanks, Rob.